You are watching a Loading Ready Run Wacky Draft on MTGO Academy. Hey everybody, it's Loading Ready Run Drafting time. Graham here. I'm James. Yeah. We're back to a normal, good old JBT. We figured if we go VMA, we're just going to do Boros Goblins again, so we shouldn't do that. Yeah, that's boring. Um, and this is going to be like, this is our final JBT draft. Probably? Yeah, yeah. like... Because M15 they, is soon. They, we, they're doing Modern Masters next week on yeah. Magic Online. So we have that to look forward to. So and we've, done, we've done the Rare Draft, which is usually our sort of swan song for a format. But, but one thing we never got around to doing was the uh, the All That Constellation. Yeah. So and 23 look, enchantments. That's, look, that's a go. Look what we got. Yeah, Grim Guardian. We got a Grim Guardian. So now we need more of those. Can uh, we get 23 I, I want to get this back. We probably won't get we the won't get the spire spine back. I would take mortal obstinacy, but I want to get that. I don't, prob- I don't want the dictate. No, but the the dryads probably won't come back either. Probably not. I, but hey, we got a grim guardian, yep. which is like exactly the card I want to start off with. So this will be great. Got to get got to get in this before back to nature comes out. All right. So what are we looking at here? Wow, so there that's is good against us. So. Uh, does this count? Yes, it does. Right. It counts twice, yeah. in fact. <laughs> so, so there's a Dictate of the Twin Gods. That's boring. Which is not the best enchantment. There's a lot of really no. good cards in this pack, actually. There are, but none of them are really enchantments. No. We got to go... Like, this guy is really good. The idea is 23 enchantments. I know. So we got to take the rise. All right. It's not an enchantment, but it leaves enchantments behind. Yeah, so it we, we, want, we want nothing but enchantments coming onto the battlefield. Yeah. I don't want to play a lightning diadem. No. Di- diadem? God, no. Diadem. Di- diadem. All right, whatever. Di- 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 All right, blue, black, that stuff. That's it. Ooh. Well. Does this actually work with our deck? Like, it seems really bad because it just blinks stuff. <laughs> yeah, I don't actually know if it's all that great. Exile uh, target non in- Oh, but wait, we literally can't blink our own stuff. Exile target non enchantment permanent. Oh, yeah. Return oh, okay. Well, then that card. That card's the dead. Next I it, mean, it bounces all their a, we guys. We can get a blocker out of the way. Yeah. All right. So, so Nick's infusion. Nick's infusion is very good. Removal. Uh, uh, dead. D- that dreadbringer lamp. The lamp pads are also very good Harvest in this deck. I think I want to. I think we. Oh, I want to take, take the, the Nick's infusion. Yeah. I think we want to. It's going to be pretty Nicks. hard for us to find removal. Yeah. I agree. Ooh. In- ooh. Oh. Mm, okay, so mm, f- meh. font. Nah. I mean, I think I want font or cast into dark. Ire might not be bad in our deck, Ire but I don't know. <laughs> it also might come back around. It might. <laughs> um, I don't know. Do we take font or do we take? I think the we cast? take cast into darkness here. I think we take this as again sort of quasi removal. Yeah. Okay. Go for Let's it. Take the cast into darkness. Also, this, this is a very very small thing, but you notice that they changed in version 4 now, that if you have it sorting by converted mana cost, now it automatically reorders when you pick something. That's nice. Of lower cost, like V3 used to do. Or does, rather. Well, I guess used to at this point. Ooh! Oh, that's snap. interesting. Oh, baby! Yeah. This is a brutal card. Yeah. And it's just very good. No and I would have been, okay. I, I, I been okay with Aspect, Aspect of Gorgon. Aspect of is fine. Oh, there's so many Feasts of Dreams going around. I know. I like it. <laughs> but yeah, this card is pretty filthy to fight against. Yep. So, get in. Get in there. You see, previously it would have put dictate over here, and then it would have had to right click and reorder it. But now it's like, oh, I can. Do, I can do. I what, can do a really simple yeah. thing. <laughs> I can do what I'm supposed to do. Hooray! Okay, so five out of five enchantments. I like that oh, we're yeah sweet. Okay, I Ooh. like this. Mm, okay, so another so Nixon infusion. Another Nixon infusion or first lamp pads. I ugh, I really want one lamp pad. Do you think we can get another we, one? <sighs> I don't know. That Nix Infusion is very good. It's real good because it makes our guys big and strong or it just kills yeah, little guys I of theirs. I think probably we take the Infusion. I Although we only have right. one creature. Well, technically two creatures right now, but... Three. Jeez. Three creatures. Count it. No. Oh, well, yeah. Okay, that makes three. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Ugh. I think I want the Infusion. All right. I think I want to kill stuff. Uh, Sure, actually. Oh, uh, Font of Fortunes? I don't know. <sighs> this is interesting. It's six mana, though. If we're going to spend six mana, I prefer Rise of Eagles. This just makes them discard a card. Yeah, just take the font. And font of Fortunes. Right? The Font of Fortunes? Yeah, yeah, because, yeah. I mean, right now we don't have anything to bring back with the Font of... All right. So far, we are on track for enchantments only, but we yep. do need some more creatures. Definitely, gonna, that's going to be the challenging part. Another Rise. All right. And there's a Golden Hide Ox. Yeah, I, I mean, if we can stay, like, completely blue-black, I am okay with that. Yeah. And are I we, think it's doable, Are we going to run out of 
creatures that we're able to take. I mean, there's enchantment creatures through the whole set, which is yeah, good. Yeah, it gets trickier. But it's going to get pretty challenging, I think. I'm kind of surprised we haven't seen any, like, Thassa's Devourers yet. Yeah. Like, those things are pretty... I would have been okay with that. They're all just sort of chilling out. and We only got the one Grim Guardian, which is a bummer. I mean, it's all we need. Okay, so this was our opening pack, so right? So do we take the Dictate, or do we take the Mortal Obstinacy? Probably, Probably this one. the Obstinacy. I'd rather go head, in, head into white, blue, black than green, blue, black. So Fair enough. Also, this destroys enchantments, so yep. relevant to cut, even if we don't run it. So I'm hoping that one of those lamp pads comes back. It There's one early enough that I feel like it could. It could. It might not. But I don't think we get that second one back. No. Okay. There is no. dictate or lightning dial. Uh, probably just the dictate and just put it in the sideboard because we're not playing that. Doink. Okay. Uh. Well, Skybind. We don't sideboard. have to. We don't have to like not take like we can take stuff that aren't enchantments we just don't want to run them that's fair all right okay it looks, well, like, it looks like we're not getting the lamp pads back crap still we got the nix infusions and those are good removal so uh sure boy i hope we Get don't have to out i hope we don't have to run that <laughs> it's such a weird it can't hit enchantments that's so strange uh was that our first Non enchantment, yeah. Well, I mean, it, technically, rise of oh, eagles. Oh, technically, are, rise technically of eagles. These are sorceries, yeah, yeah. But still, we just want to trigger constellation. Although we only got one constellation card, so that's kind of a bummer. Uh, okay, so uh, in gross. terms of blue, almost nothing. So a lot of good cards in this pack. Yeah, but yeah, it, it's just way to the underworld. Uh, why? All right. Gonna need some creatures. Do do do. Ooh, hey. Ooh, that that makes enchanted mm. guys. Yeah. Wait, yeah, they are enchanted. Oh yeah, yeah, no, they're enchanted. It's super awkward though. It's super awkward. <laughs> it's yeah. really bad. Oh, well, it's like it. that or claim of Erebos or Rolliker. So all right. Yeah. It's a good card. There. Nice okay. Wolf. Okay. So maybe we are going to go more into the green direction. Okay. Which so I'm, I'm also okay yeah, with. Take the green. Probably cut that mortal obstinacy right now. So far, we're only in blue for the Rise of Eagles, which I do think is good. There is a Font of Fortune, but whatever. That's fine. That can go yeah, away. Font of Fortune's also good. I'm, I'm okay with playing like three colors. Way, yeah. Like, yeah. I, I think triple we're probably... Green, triple green, triple green is, intervention is awkward. is awkward, but that's fine. Yeah. So what are the um, Nyxborn Idolins... Uh, Nyxborn Wolves. Um, what are the black enchantment creatures in Born of the Gods? Or the black and green enchantment creatures? There's, uh, an, there's another in each uh, color, isn't there? Or yeah, I, I think so. Yeah, um, uncommon, or am I wrong? I thought there was uncommon ones, or maybe there isn't. Maybe they're in Theros. Those might be the only bestows. I can't remember, actually. Oh, my God. No. no. Wait, isn't there just straight nothing here for us? All right, I'm taking Asphyxiate, then. Yeah, we have to. There's like there's no enchantments. No, there's nothing. Yeah, so we have to take. But we don't. I mean, we're are technically we, not we, supposed are, to run it. Are we making ourselves a hard rule that we don't even run it? Uh, I mean, if we have 23 playable enchantments, I I, think I don't think we will. But oh, okay, there it is. Oh, that guy, right? Of course. Return. And okay. there's also the idol in wheel here as well. it, wheel it. Yeah. I knew there was an uncommon. Yeah. One. Yeah. Spite for returns, great. Sweet. Okay, I'm liking how this is going. I'm bummed we only got the one. Yeah, I would have loved two Grim Guardians. <laughs> yeah, two Grim Guardians, yeah. or if we'd like wield the um, uh, Harvest Guard. No, not the Harvest Guard. The uh, Oak Heart Dryads. If we'd wield the Green Constellation card, only having one Constellation card is sort of like a bummer. On the it's the, it's the second Champion of Stray Souls. Yep. Weird. Um. God, are we ever actually gonna run Claim of Erebos? Probably not. It's pretty terrible. Just take the uh, siren? siren, and it can sit in our sideboard, and hopefully we get to play it. I mean, maybe we should try and run this thing. Maybe we should do that. Drain him out. Put it on a Grim Guardian. Block with it. Drain him every turn. Yeah, that's true. I guess that's sort of what we're here to do. Okay. 
Not, no, I'm not excited about it. But so far, we're still, like, mono enchantments. All right, all right. Apparently, we're just doing that. <laughs> all right, cool. Uh, look at all the good cards. So many trompers, by the way. Yeah, So many Ferris that. Band trompers going by. We are just ruining signaling this draft. We only got two green cards so far. I'm yeah, bummed. I was hoping for a little bit more there. So we're like black plus. <laughs> yeah, basically. Well, maybe we'll get some Nylea's presences in um, present size. Yeah, Nylea's in presence. The Theros uh, uh, this is never no, we're in ever, a million No, never years. ever doing that. So just like we've, we've already got two claim of Erebos, we're not just gonna make two two different enchantments, both with bad wind conditions. Yeah, no, that's bad. Uh, probably take I don't know Necrobite or Servant. Take the Servant just as a creature. All right. Uh, I'll put him on the board for now, but you never know. Uh, wow, there's some decent white cards here. Um, yeah. I'll take the Faded Return. Sure. Probably not gonna run it, but that's fine. Okay. All I mean, right. there is also the Flood Time Serpent combo. Yeah. Combo. Uh, we probably just take it, don't we? I like, think, it's I, a creature. <laughs> we have three of them right now. Geez, we only have three creatures. And we have a couple cards that make creatures, but Shh. probably All just right, take, the take the servant. take the servant. Combos with, our, with enchantment. Yay, another one. Okay, we're just going all in on claim. Apparently so. All right, this is how we're going to do the damage. But we need creatures to put this on. Yeah. So far, we only have four actual creatures and then some other cards that make them. This is really bad. This is real bad. All right, this guy's staying in the main deck, I think. I think he oh, has yeah, to. Oh, yeah, he has to. All right, let's uh, ooh, let's get some uh, Baleful Eidolons, some uh, Leaf Crown Dryads. All right, all right. Interesting. God, that triple green on the Faded Intervention is going to be awkward. So far, these are the only two cards in the deck that do not... that. Uh, neither make enchantments nor are enchantments. Well, Chain to the Rocks is an enchantment, but that's not really... Ooh. Nimbus Dyad. Sick. Snap. Yeah, get it. That's... Yeah, all right. Like, to be honest, right now, we might want to just cut those two green cards uh, and try to get focused onto blue-black. Yeah. Oh, uh, well, although, there's, there's the Emissary. Although, there's also a Hopeful Eidolon. Yeah. Uh, there's a Commune with the Gods, but I don't think... That means a sorcery anyway, so I, I don't can't. think. Uh, I think uh, this is an Ember Swallower. That card's really good. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I guess take the emissary. Yep. Well, Sweet there's presents. Good. Take more of those, please. Okay, so we need two cards. Yeah. And then our deck is complete. <laughs> Feature complete. <laughs> How many, and we're only running... We're still only the Flood Tide Serpents are the only things. Which, I mean, you know what? I'm okay with that. They call interact it, with enchantments. Call it cheating fine. if you want, but I think they're going to be kind of critical to the deck. Boy, I can't wait to see what Ma Magic Online suggests for the mana base for this thing. Um, what would it suggest right now? Ooh, Bident. <laughs> I mean, you're just taking it. Bident or Aqueous Form or Viper's Kiss. No, we just take the Bident. <laughs> Double blue on turn four. That's happening. Sure. That's more likely than triple green on, on turn, turn five. five. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You are you are not wrong. I mean, not wrong except for the fact that we're doing this, in in which case we are both wrong. Very, very wrong. Uh, 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 yeah. Oh, okay. Well, it's, yeah. it's a feral, feral invocation. Yeah. Is that or Perforos's emissary on a splashing of fourth color? No, we're not doing that. All right, definitely the invocation. Still only seven creatures. All right, there's twenty three cards. All right, that's our deck. Right now, that's so we the can deck. start cutting all the bad cards once we start getting all the good ones here. I'm going to count these cards as single creatures, in which case we have ten creatures. Yes. Even though they each make two creatures themselves. I'm not going to say like, well, this is two creatures. I don't know how this math works. Ten creatures. Three claim of Erebos. 
That's fine. <laughs> no, it's not. <laughs> Well, if we ever get to connect with the Biden, we'll draw some cards. That'll be fun. Oh, we got the Spiteful Returned. That can, like, get some damage through. Yeah. Kind of. Sort of. A little. So this guy's a five drop? Four drop. Oh, that's nice. A five drop. A five drop. This is assuming that we actually have stuff to bestow onto it. Uh. Okay, there's no... Yeah, take it. I think we got to run this guy. Yeah, we do. He's shiny. He's, he's sort of like an enchantment. Kind of. Uh, guess we... Oh, so good. I guess we take Viper's Kiss. Yep. I'm going to put this on the board, though. Uh, Probably cut one of the claims? Yep. Unless we want to go, like... No, no, we have to Really cut. hard on claim. We have to cut a claim. Yeah. Um. <laughs> when I when I hate the annul. Yeah, I guess. Yeah, I mean, we're not taking anything else. No, so. Nothing, nothing yeah. else here. Nothing else for us. Yeah. And ooh, unknown shores. Yep. Is this gonna be the first time I ever run an unknown shores? It might be. It might have to be. That's so bad, though. Such a delay on your mana having to pay an extra one for it. But still, I mean, I don't know. Do you think Nylea's presence in Opaline Unicorn is enough for this? It's not, but it's going to have to be. Okay. <laughs> so you, you don't want to run the Unknown Shores? Uh, no, we'll probably also run that. Cause... I guess we're... Uh, I guess we'll take the Staunch Heart of Warrior here, since it's like the best card that's still in the pack. Wait. Why did that think it was a four drop? That's weird. Uh, ba boo. I'll take the monomonomonic wall. And hey, there's an enchantment that we're not going to run, but that's fine. And another one that we're definitely not going to run. And an ox. And a forest. Okay, so. Um, that's a deck <laughs> that exists sure. in the game of Magic the Gathering. And we have to play it now. It was built with cards um, that are legal in this format. So these these are all facts about this assemblage of 23 cards that we've made. And there's the neighbor's dogs. Barking away. They aren't happy. They're not happy with us. They saw it. They saw the deck. and They, they were, saw what we passed. They, they saw were, what, what could have been. Yeah, and they were not happy. All right. I think we're... I, I think we just add land and go. Yeah. I think we, we know what we're in for. It's not good. But it could be worse. So join us for worse. Eleven creatures. Yeah. Uh -huh. One of which is an Opaline Unicorn. <laughs> yeah. Oh boy. All right. Add basics. Six six five. Really? Well, the triple green's throwing it off, so. Uh hang on. Let's see here. Yeah, uh, that's probably not right. I mean, and there's like the double blues here. I mean, we don't want to do. Certainly, don't want to do less green because if we can hit Nylea's presence, that's really good. Um, God, that might actually be right. I think that's right. <laughs> yeah. Ugh. I, Shores, though. Yep. In for what? Uh, an island. An island. I guess. Do we have any alternate art value here? Whoopsies. Yep, oh, we do. All right, get that in there. And what's the default swamp? Oh, nice. So much alternate art value. Get in Sick. the deck. All right. Let's see how this goes in round one. Yay. If you'd like to purchase Magic Online cards with event tickets while logged in on Magic Online, look at MTGO Academy's selection by trading our official bot, Academy Cellbot. You can find it in the Magic Online trading area or add it to your buddy list. All right. Round one. Our opponent has started to chat with us. Hi, GLHF. How G -L -H -F. dare you? Um, this is a hand of cards. It's got all of our colors. <laughs> we can't, we can draw, we just draw nothing but gas, right? 
uh, I don't know. We, I mean, we probably mulligan it, but we, we got to mulligan uh, it. This this deck, I can't believe would mulligan well. What are you talking about? Look at okay. that. Okay. Well, Look at that. it's not bad. That's fine. Let's, we'll keep that. I, I don't know. I don't think our mana base is that messed up. We've had much worse than, oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. I was afraid it was a favored hoplite, and I was like, well, we're dead. That's still pretty bad. It's not as bad. We can, I uh, mean, it depends on what he has for it. Like, if he has an ordeal here. Oh, well, then we're screwed. <laughs> yeah. Swing for zero. Swing for zero. Send a message. Message received. That's sweet. Good job. Nice. Look at that. All the colors right on curve. So, are we going to play the wolf and put the naiad on it? Or play the naiad and put the wolf on it? Uh, I kind of like playing the naiad and putting the wolf on it. Hmm, that's oh, we're dead. We're dead. Scholar. Let's play the naiad. Sure. All right. I mean, we just go all in, don't we? Naiad, Nix Infusion, Wolf, Bash, 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 Bash. I think so, considering Nix Infusion doesn't kill either of his creatures. And just assume that he doesn't have any removal for don't, <laughs> don't kill, don't, don't kill it. Dominated. Uh, that was our whole plan. Our whole plan. All right. Well, I guess we're playing the Nyxborn Wolf now. Yep. All right, we have a 3-1. Who cannot currently attack or block either of his creatures. Correct. Well, we can attack th through this, but we shouldn't. Like, we should, or we, we could block a 0-4, but we shouldn't, because it's very easy for him to just kill it. And attack, attack. Nope. No attack. Doesn't want to. Doesn't want to risk it. Ooh, look at that. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Tempted then then to just do the feral invocation because this could still be effective at something else. Yeah. So um, I'm going to attack. Yeah. No attack and and let's see what happens. I mean, he is a lot of mana open. Oh yeah. That's fine. Yep. Uh huh. Ha ha. I feel like he can make his Trailblazer live, but I don't think it's going to be as easy to kill the wolf. Slash never, the never say never. Oh, okay, Battle Wise Valor does it. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Oh, it yeah, does. It kill the wolf. Does it exactly. Not even a trade. Just straight up two for one does. Well, Whee! that was exciting. And now he has a 1-5. Oh, and at the end of turn, drain. no, it drain, right? Yeah, of course, going to make the stack bigger for you viewers at home. All right, so now the plan is Rise of Eagles. Next infusion on one of our eagles. Make it a 4-4. Four, four. I think we, even though he's killed two of our best creatures <laughs> in the whole deck, I still think we're okay. All right, so, okay, so I'm just doing it. Oh, yeah, we get to scry. And Ooh. we want that. Actually, yeah, we'll keep that on top. Yep. We can get back our Nyad and our Wolf. We really, really want our, I want our Grim Guardian. Is I forgot I we had that guy. Yeah. Or that thing. That, the font? Yeah. I'll take it. Please don't kill our birds. What are you doing? Okay, good. I was I thought it was gonna be Well, there goes our Nixon fusion, but I thought that was gonna be Drown in Sorrow. I was like, no. Drown in Sorrow really gets us here. Well, he might take the unicorn. Mm -mm. I think you take the infusion. Yeah. That's fair. Alright, it's a race. Really? So you have a Johnny's presence and you're willing to trade it for a... All right, whatever. Come on through. I'm not going to block that. Hey, look. Look what it is. Up to three creatures. Even better. All right. Problem is, is that we can't cast it and bring back our creatures in the same turn. 
No, but that's fine. We still get to play both our cards. We can even block with our unicorn. Um, yeah. So we can get it back. That's true. I mean, I'm not excited about that plan. Oh, don't Free be a combat. bomb. Don't be a bomb. Don't be a bomb. That's right. Yeah, I'm willing to try and block here. Look at that, it worked. Don't do it. Oh. Okay. All right. Looks like you're trading for a bird, Harpy. Ooh. Hmm. Actually. So we got seven mana this turn. So we could pop the font and return these two and play one of them just as a creature, which seems not great. No, I would probably play this other font. Play the other font. And pop it, I think. Probably. To hit our land drop for the turn. Because <clears throat> if we do, then we can pop the other font as well. Can we not? Mm, no, because this... Oh, yeah. Yeah, we yeah, can. you're right. All right, sure. Yeah, so I think we do that. Because we, we want those creatures in our hand for next turn, so... Yeah. Do, 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 do. Sweet. Cool. Okay, so now... Um, I would probably just attack. Yeah, I think we're okay with trading for a, the Harpy here if he wants to. Okay. Although this might not be a trade. Let's find out. Oh, it is. Neat. And I will pass. And I'll do this end of his turn. Yeah, he's going to drain here. He should. Yes, he does. All right. Should we make the unicorn fly? <laughs> no, that seems bad. All right. Flood Tide Serpent's fun. I'm going to block the Scholar again. And if he tries to kill it, then I'll... Nope, oh, okay. All right. Font. This guy and this guy. Whoop. Neat. So we've got uh, nine. About nine mana. So we can only do one of these things. Which is not amazing. Wolf on the bird? Yeah, probably. Just try to Wolf smash on his bird and you. just get him to ten here. I mean, he drains us for two... So he goes back up to 12. We go into the 8. Like, it's not amazing. No, but it's a pretty big clock in the air. Yep. And next turn, we can bestow the Naiad if we wanted to for even more, so. Please don't kill it. Mm. I said don't kill it. Lash the whip. Hero's Whoa. Downfall. All right. That's a good card. That's a good card. Okay. <clears throat> well, luckily we still have the Naiad. He's got one. He's only got one card. Yeah. <sighs> All right. If you want to use it, use it. You want to kill the unicorn? That's fine. All right. Ooh, that's exciting. Um, oh, we can't do both. I think the scry is pretty important. Oh yeah, we get to scry too if we do that. Yeah. So we don't get to surprise him though. No. And we're on nine, and he's got the scholar. He's got two scholar. Yeah, the, the every scholar. Time. I mean that. That's pretty bad. So 
I don't know if we really have the time to sort of play around here. Um, Do we just Nyad the wolf and try to start getting in? I mean, Nyad the wolf, he goes to 11, back up to 13. We go to 7. It's quite a race. Like, he can easily just block these, right? So Yeah, but <clears throat> it's... The creatures don't it, really help right now? The creatures don't, but the <laughs> smoothing out our next two draws kind of help. Like, we need some pretty good cards over the next couple turns if we want to win this game, so... So you think just doing it? Probably. All right. I mean, it stops any extra physical damage, and it just basically he clocks us out on the Scholar, and maybe we can get around that, so... Yeah, like, I don't want either of those cards. Yeah. I mean, I don't know what we have that's better, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's get him out. I mean, a land lets us cast both these things next turn, does it? One, two, three, it's eight. We have nine. Yeah, but again, it doesn't, like, the Flood Time Ser Serpent really isn't doing anything for no, us here. Right. Like, it's a scholar that we need to worry about now, so. All right. I was like, should we just play the Naiad? But probably not. We have a Viper's Kiss on the board, right? We do. We will want to bring. We will that be in. bringing that in. Yeah. Immediately. So if he gets another land this turn, then we're in real bad shape because he's got three Scholar activations a turn. But instead, he drew. Oh. Okay. I'm like totally not worried about that. Guy. Yeah. I don't know if I would have played that guy if I was him. Well, there's the land anyways. Yeah, we get to do it anyway. So, okay, so I'm going to put the Naiad on, screw it, one of these centaurs. Because it's bigger, yeah. I guess. It doesn't, well, it doesn't really make a difference, does it? Not really, but sure. Uh, no, because these guys block on the ground better. So I'll put it on the wolf. Uh, let me attack with it. Yeah. Smash you. All right, is it 13? We play a serpent. More blockers. So I don't think he can get us on the ground. We go to six. If he gets, if he slams a land here, which he didn't, okay. Ugh. God damn. Hmm. That is annoying. Nyx Infusion. Well, I mean, that's something. Uh, I don't think it... Okay, so... If we put it on the wolf, that makes it seven power. We hit him to seven, seven. then he goes back up to ten because he gains two off the Scholar and one off the Nyx Fleece Ram. Uh, meanwhile, we go to four. Uh, he can't kill us on the ground, I don't think. Wait, um, no, we're just... Aren't we just... No, okay, we're not just dead, but if no. he draws a land, we are, right? No, and then we go to one off the Scholar. Oh, yeah, he's got... Th yeah, yeah, yeah. So, um, so we could put the Nyx Infusion on a Centaur and make it a 5-5 five, five and attack with that, then he just chump blocks. Yeah, he just whatever. chumps, yeah, it doesn't matter. So um, I guess we just put it on the Wolf and try to race. Yeah. Nope. Infuse you with Nyx. Nyx, it's what's for dinner. Breakfast of champions. All right. This is tight, but it's like, it's so close to winnable. Do we have anything to kill the scholar? To, to hit him for 10 in the air next turn? When we, if we draw, like I, I'm trying to think if there's anything in our deck, like any pump spell. Yeah, I don't think I don't there's think there is. anything that's. Our other Nyx infusions in the bin. That would that would be one point short though. Yeah. Do we have any other bestow guys? Mm, spiteful returned. <gasps> spiteful return gets him exactly no because then he's got two scholar activations yeah right because he's actually at virtual 12 here oh did he play another land oh he's got nine mana oh balls okay so we have to kill him right now or we are dead <laughs> we even got the spiteful return we did oh my god it's so close it's so close but he takes us to one in his end step and then untaps and kills us but hell we're gonna go for it 
We don't just attack with everything, do we? What is a spiteful return? Is whenever it attack or whenever, whenever it attacks, they lose two life. So we're 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 hitting him for lethal here. So maybe he just doesn't. Are we only hitting him for? How are we hitting him for lethal? Well, he loses two life. And oh yeah, 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 yeah. Maybe he doesn't see it. Maybe he doesn't see it. I think he sees it. No, no, no. Just, just wait till your end step. Just wait till your end step. Yeah, no. Just wait till your no. He only needs to do that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I know. I have now f sexed. <laughs> there is no point. So close. Doesn't even do it the third time. And we're dead. All, All right. right. So, uh, Viper's Kiss. Yep. Get in. How else could we... Oh, Emissary would have been good. Oh, yeah, Emissary. St still wouldn't have been quite... It wouldn't have been enough. It wouldn't have been quite enough. I uh, kind of claim. Um, yeah, well, Viper's Kiss is like the only thing we have that's going to work for this. Mm -hmm. We have Asphyxiate. <laughs> I mean, we have Asphyxiate. <laughs> yep. <laughs> it's not Just so everyone though. watching is aware, <laughs> this is in our pool. <laughs> if we want to play that, we have to cut the unicorn. What? We can't cut an enchantment for a non-enchantment. Okay. That seems fair. Okay. So if we want to play it, we have to cut the unicorn. Uh, we can't cut the either of the big... Uh, I'm willing to do that. I'm willing to trade it for the unicorn. Okay. That's fair. <clears throat> All right. Yeah, let's play first. It's a mono black deck. <laughs> yeah, you keep it. Yeah, all right, sure. Why not? Are we just playing Spite for a turn out on turn two and like loading it up with Nyx infusions? Yep. Seems reasonable. He won't be prepared for that. <laughs> yeah, let's do that. Just don't heroes we're either fall. We're going to lose this game very fast or win it very fast. Yeah, this is going to be awesome in some in one way or another. Because next turn we hit him for five. Oh yeah, we do. Don't have a don't just don't play anything. Yes, yes. Hey, we can get it back if we if it dies. Yes. Fifteen. What's that? Fifth, five damage on turn three. Oh, honey, don't play anything. Just pass the turn. Just pass the turn. Now he has a fix asphyxiate. He's, he's thinking like, about Hero's no. Downfall. Oh, it's Hero's Downfall, isn't it? Odunos River Trawler. I okay. don't care about that. I mean, if you want to block with it, I guess. <laughs> That's hilarious. Are we putting the other Nixon Fusion on this guy? I don't know if it's actually worth it at this point. <laughs> no. I mean, we could honestly just Nixon Fusion his guy. Ooh, that might be better, actually. Because doesn't his guy have that thing have regeneration? No. He can oh, sack no, it yeah, to get an enchantment like, yeah. creature back. We can just, yeah, we just kill it and smash. Yeah, do it. All right. And you get a Nix infusion. And you get a Nix infusion. Everyone gets a Nix infusion. Play like an elite skirmisher, please. Nothing. That's a little worrisome, actually. I think he's off his mana. Yeah, probably. Or. I mean, he, well, he, well, he did miss a land he, drop. He misses a land drop there, so. Hero's downfall? Nope. Oh, my God. The value. Skirmisher. Skirmisher. Nope. Nope. Poor man. Not that. Insatiable Harpy. Oh, well. Okay. okay. I'm not going to Viper's Kiss that. I am going to do that. I'm going to do that, and we're going to win. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> <laughs> Got there. Spiteful return. Deck worked, Nix exa infusion. <laughs> Deck worked exactly as we planned. <laughs> oh, my God. That's one of the best <clears throat> bad wins I've ever had in this format. Oh, my God. I'm running it back. Yep. That was amazing. <clears throat> Pardon me. All in spiteful return. <laughs>
<laughs> what a filthy way to win. That was uh, something special. Opponent now furiously sideboarding. Against our sick tech. Yeah. Um, yeah, keep it. Yeah, I think we do, yeah. It's a pretty fine hand. Did you actually start a chat with us, or... No, okay. Yeah, let's keep it. Let's get any land and start Grim Guardianing him out. Excellent. Good, Guardian first. And then we start dropping truth bombs. Two drop. No. Oh. I think we hold <laughs> yeah, that. Yeah, we hold it. Yeah, right. <laughs> if we had the infusion again, I would say we drop it. <laughs> yep. All right, don't care. I mean, we'll care eventually, but not right now. Ooh. Uh, no, that doesn't matter. All right. I was like, ooh, should have played Unknown Shores, but it literally does not matter. And now we just start draining him. So depending on what he does, <clears throat> next turn we might just be putting Spiteful Return on the Grim Guardian. Yeah. Or playing Bident, actually. <laughs> oh, he's got a blocker. Okay. Harpy? Ooh, boy. All right, that's going to be an interesting race. Uh, we can We can still do the return. He can't block the Harpy. Or he can't block the Grim Guardian with the Harpy. <clears throat> no, he can't. I mean, we could also, like, wait. It'll be the, two we could wait his harpy, his good one. Oh, that's a, that's actually probably a lot better, now that I think about it. Yeah. Yeah, let's do that. I mean, let's just get the harpy out of here. And we still get the Grim Guardian trigger. And swing away. <clears throat> and the next turn we get to put the Nimbus Nyad on the Grim Guardian. That'll be fun. At least I think that's what we should do. Probably. At this uh, point, I just want more land so we can cast Rise of, Eagles. Rise of Eagles. Yeah, please don't kill the Grim Guardian. That's all I want you to do is not kill the Grim Guardian. <laughs> He's like our whole plan right now. Ugh. Nothing. All that mana. Okay, so... I'm going for it. Nyad on the Guardian? Yeah. Is that or yeah. Bident? I mean, doesn't that could theoretically draw us a card, right? Yeah, but let's just do this. I think he's going to have something here. He's probably got the downfall. But this this isn't that bad, because we, then we can put Returned on the Nyad, and that's still good. Oh, okay. Hmm? Huh? He could have a... Oh, yeah. he's got the downfall. Oh, Feast of Dreams. Oh, Grim Guardian, come back. All right, still putting Spiteful Return on that thing. <clears throat> I don't know why I didn't think of all those Feast of Dreams we saw going around. Eventually, we'll Rise of Eagles with the Guardian out and just hit for two. That'll be fun. Don't asphyxiate. Don't asphyxiate. Don't. Don't. Wait, whoa. Or 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 this. this. Don't this do this much either. Worse. Ah, oh, that's nice. not that bad. I mean, it's a four four. Yeah, it's a four. Which is really strong. Can't play that. Can't play most of this. We could Bident. I'm gonna take six next turn. It's gonna be bad. We can hit him for five here though. Yeah. Yeah, I think we do that. Then we take. I think we hit him for five, and we six. take six, and hope we hit a land for Rise of Eagles, and that stabilizes us pretty well. He's only got two cards in hand. Yeah, I think we just go for it. Excuse me. What does this thing do again? Sacrifice X. Other creatures return X to your grave to the battlefield. So he can sacrifice his Blood Toll Harpy and turn it into an Insatiable Harpy if he doesn't attack Yeah, with the champion, which is probably not what he's going to do. He's probably just going to hit us for four. Really want to land next turn, though. 
Because Rise, we can chump this, trade for the heart, Blood Toll. Ooh. That's even better. Hmm. Okay. I, th I think. Yeah, that's better for us. I mean, clearly he has follow ups here. Yeah. Oh, yeah. It's fine. <laughs> yep. Ooh. Big Titan. When I said fine. And a f oh, 04. Okay. Right. Hmm. Balls. That will take us. That will take three of our land to cast that. Because we need the green from Unknown Shores. Mm hmm. That's pretty bad. Uh, we could play Nylea's Emissary just as a chump blocker, which we probably have to. I think to. we have to at this point, don't we? Yeah, we do. Uh, I still think I attack. Yep. I guess if he's got Boon, that's annoying. Ooh. Bold. Okay. So, yeah. Emissary. Yeah, we're at nine, so... Uh, I guess if he's got a Strive card, we're in a lot of trouble. Because we're taking four, five, six. Uh, well, I mean, you know, can't do anything else, so... Uh, yeah, let's do... Add a green. Don't pay one. And leaves Emissary. Cast it. <clears throat> or just removal, obviously, and we're dead. Yeah. But that's, you know. He's only got two cards. You gotta go for it. You gotta go for it. He's he only got one land. card. Don't strive me, bro. So now if he <clears throat> can't kill us here and we draw a piece of removal, we win. Mm-hmm. Like a Nixon. Unless fusion. he has another flyer. Don't be feast of dreams. Don't feast of dreams. No. No feast of dreams. Claim. Claim of Erebos. That, that was our thing. Does that kill us? Uh, Are we losing to that? No. Oh. Especially if he does that. We don't even... Do we block that? If we don't, we go to five... And then he can drain us down to three. three. I don't think we block that. Um. Well, if he if he if we don't block it, we go to five. He drains us to three, and then next turn he can drain us again to one to one, and that makes any one of his guys lethal. Yeah. And we don't have any other but creatures. This, this one's attack. This one's tapped to do that though. Yeah, but he can do that. Right now, yeah, right. But then he do does this now, and we go to. So he if, this, if we, we go to we go to five. Yeah, if he taps this, we go to three. Yeah, the next turn he has to tap this to take us to one. Meaning that this one won't be attacking. That's true, but it means we we'll only need to, yeah. we need to draw like we have no more creatures, right? If we yeah. don't draw a land here for the rise, then we're in a lot of trouble. So I think, I think we're in a lot of trouble either way. Like, if we draw a piece of removal, we win, theoretically. Yeah. Well, actually, we absolutely do, because he has no cards in hand. There's nothing yeah. else he can do. So, I mean, I guess, sure, let's take it and hope for a land. Like, I if mean, we block get, it. like, a bestow creature, that's good for this? If we get, uh, but not the green one, if we get the Nimbus Naya, then this just... Nimbus Naya is already on the field. Oh, yeah. Hello. Um... <laughs> I guess we just take it. I think we're. I think if we don't figure out a way to kill him next turn, we're dead either way. But I don't know if the emissary is part of that plan, though. Like he has blockers for the emissary. Yeah, but is it better to chump with it this turn or chump with it next turn? Probably next turn. Probably. Eh, not sure. Let's go for All it. Right. I don't know. What's the word? I mean, he can't kill us right What's now. The worst so that the, can happen. It's true. Nothing can. Oh, he can do the champion, can't he? Oh. Oh, we get him to one? We get him to one. Because he takes two from this regardless. And then, of course, he has to block. But he can he could just champion. Oh, he's going to champion yeah. the blocker and bring back the insatiable harpy. Yeah. Ugh.
Are we going to have a claim of Erebos fight? <laughs> he will win it, unfortunately. Uh, um, you really need a land there. Wait, does he win it? We put claim on Nylea's emissary and no attacks. He, at the end of her turn, he, he takes, takes us, us to, to three. three. And then on his turn, he takes us to... Oh, then we have to block with the Naya. Yeah. Darn. We don't have enough blockers, right? Like, he has three attackers next turn, and they're all lethal. So if we attack with the Naiad, he chumps with blood... He takes two, goes to three, chumps with blood toll harpy. Sacrifices it. Sacrifices the champion. Or sacrifices it to the champion and gets insatiable harpy back. Uh, and then takes us to th three, and then we'll have a flying attacker, so then we're dead. Yeah. So we can't do that. Uh, presence draws us a card, but yeah. costs three. Yeah. Presence draws us a card, but I don't know what we actually have. Uh Viper's Kiss? <laughs> Doesn't that do it? I think. Oh, no, because he can still just sacrifice it for... But if he sacrifices it now, then he's dead. Oh, no, no. No, he's he not, because he gets, he gets yeah, the Insatiable the Harpy. Oh, but then he has to chump with the Insatiable Harpy. Yeah, that's true. And then he gains two, but then we're not totally dead. Hang yeah. on, let me look at the deck. Remembering that we have... So we can draw into cast is interesting, but we won't have enough mana for that. Oh wait, no, no, we no, do. We'll, we'll, we'll have we'll, we'll have two. We'll have two mana. So if we get cast into darkness or Viper's Kiss, that does something. Yeah, do it. <laughs> um, how do we switch windows? Awkward. Yeah. Or right hang on. Or is the does the claim do something? No. We can play and use the claim. That doesn't do anything though. We get him to one. If we don't, because we can't attack or we can't attack or tap any creatures here. Yeah. Because at the end of our turn, he takes us to t three, and then untaps takes us to one, and we only have two blockers. Yeah. So. All right. Do that. Do that. I mean, I think that happens either way. Like, I don't yeah. actually know how we presence targeting this land. Opponent's gonna be feeling pretty good seeing that. <laughs> Just basically the worst possible card. <laughs> womp womp. Uh, I think we die. I think we die. Yeah. Uh, assuming he we'll probably claims die. us at the end of our turn. Claims us. During his turn and then attacks with all three, we're dead, right? I think. I don't know. I'm going to put a claim on this guy anyway. Just in case. I'll put it on this one. Uh, no. Which is more like... Because we're jumping with this regardless, so, right? So Grim Guardian, that would be sick. Uh, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, Grim Guardian would have really changed the math here. Yeah. All right, I guess I just pass. All right. Don't kill us. Somehow. Please. Oh, wait a minute. God damn it. He couldn't champion for the Blood Toll Harpy and claim that turn. Damn. I don't think that would have mattered, though. I, it might have. I don't know, because, like, he like he doesn't, the, the Harpy doesn't matter at all. But he then claims. We'd be, then we'd be at five now. By but we'd only have one blocker. But we don't have one blocker, yeah. Right. Yeah, that's the problem. Because now, if he claims again, yes, yeah, so he's not even going to. He just attacks, and we go to one, and then he claims us. So, boo! Oh yeah, we are dead. We're super dead. Uh, so close. Oh well. Whatever. Game two of this round was awesome. Yes. <laughs> Don't even care. I'll remember game two. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh yeah. Oh, wow. oh, all three of the next two. Uh, three wow. Cards. All right. See you guys in round two. If you'd like to exchange your Magic Online cards for event tickets while logged in on Magic Online, you can do so by trading MTGO Academy's official bot, Academy Buy Bot.
You can find it in the Magic Online trading area or add it to your buddy list. Hey, round two. It's going to be re- better than the first round, right? Well, uh, we're keeping the hand. Yeah. Hopefully we get a forest. Uh, obviously green would yeah be ideal, but... Any hand that starts with Grim Guardian and a swamp. Yeah, I think and, we probably And hopefully just another land. Like, ideally another land would also be good, but... Grim Guardian Swamp is the uh, is what we is what we're looking for. All right, opponent, whose name is Urza since 1993. That's a good name. It was a good name. Land. All right. All right. That's fine. Calm down. Don't play red. That would be bad, actually. Yeah, Boros would be pretty bad. No, oh, damn it. No. That's so bad. Oh, yeah, there we go. Okay. All right. Land. If we don't draw a land here, I think we just lose. Land. Land. Yes. Yeah, and it's a green one, too. Sweet. Oh, thank goodness. Um. Okay. Okay. Do we block yeah. if he attacks? Oh, okay. Well, if he's tapping out first. Oh. Uh, I think we... Yeah, we're blocking. I think we block here. I don't... For one white mana, he can't kill he the can't Grim Guardian. Kill it. He just wants to get in. Yeah, he just inspired. wants to okay. inspire. Yeah. Sweet. Oh, boy. All right. Uh, I guess we'll put it on the swamp. No, put it on the island. Let's... Uh, draw land, draw land, draw land. There's a land here. I'm going to just yield to that action. Uh, oh, we're in so much trouble. Crap. We're in so much trouble. The Sun Guide untapping completely negates everything the Grim Guardian has done so far. Yep. Oh. Why do you hate us so, you cat monk? Yep, just bash in. Now this block is a little scarier. Ugh. Because if we uh, if we lose a Grim Guardian, we're in so much trouble. I'm taking it. Yeah, I think we have to. Like, we lose a Grim Guardian, we are actually probably just. Dead. I mean, we we have to cast the next Born Wolf for. Interesting. All right. Come on. <laughs> All right, Wolf it up. <laughs> Uh, do we attack with the Grim Guardian? <laughs> no, I don't think so. And he can't block it with this, but that doesn't... <laughs> All right, I'm going to try and trade the Sun Guide for the Wolf. Yep. See if that works. <laughs> oh, man. Ember Swallower? Oh, no. I was lying. No, I was joking. You... No, I was just making a funny joke. Okay. Holy crap. Crap. Okay, well, so much for blocking. Plus two, plus O, oh, first strike, and vigilance. Yeah. Ha! Vigilance! Ha! <laughs> non yeah. Deal yeah. with that. Deal with the seven damage we just take? Yeah. Do we? Or do we just chump with the wolf? I don't know. I think we might have to actually just chump with the wolf. Then go to nine. Instead of, yeah, I mean, going to nine seems so uh, bad. Everything seems bad. <laughs> everything hurts. Ow. I mean, there was no way this deck was going to stand up against. <sighs> well, we still can't cast anything. Nope. Arg. At least we can make some, make a block next turn. Well, pass it up. All right. Ha. Huh. It's not like a Sun crazy. Guy untap. It's not a crazy amount of pressure he has on us, but he does have five cards in hand. Like he could just go in, all in on that Sun Chaser, and we die. <laughs> yep. <laughs> no. <laughs> what? Uh, I forgot about that. What? Okay. I think we lose. <laughs> oh man, I wanted to cast Faded. In- what the? What's the Grim Guardian doing over there? I wanted to cast Faded Intervention with the thing. What is this? Really? 
Nice. Yes. Wow. I love that card. Do you really? I can't, you kind of. I think it's pretty fun. We're taking an awful lot of damage off it right now because yep. this guy's going to get plus two plus oh. Yep. Oh, three ones. So that's six, seven, eight, nine. We're just getting smashed for nine here. L O L. Well, it's a card, and it means we're not just dead. Yes. Because we can block. We can chump block the ghost blade, I don't take three. Ah, oh, boy. GG, opponent. He's at 23. Free combat. Why, why the... Oh. oh, okay. Well, there we go. Oh, that was exciting. All right. So, uh, I want to bring Viper's Kiss back in because of his one toughness, dudes. Sure. Let's take out the claim. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> you <laughs> cheater. Actually, it's not really cheating. You said I could do it. All right. Playing first. Okay. It's slow. Yeah, we got the presence and we can Nixon fusion and early drop. Yeah. And we'll keep it. Turn two presence, though. Come on. Let's go. Opponent kept on seven. Because why wouldn't he? Exactly. I guess I'll put the presence on a swamp this time. What, what, what? Oh, we're in trouble. Don't ordeal us. Do not. That's okay. We can Nixon infusion it. Uh, probably. Hopefully. <laughs> like, I hope we can. Oh, boy. Well, we certainly have mana. Man, we're just gearing up for the old round three buy now. No, don't do it. Uh, it's game over. Nixon infusion doesn't Doesn't kill work it. anymore. No. <laughs> And we still don't have a creature next turn. So just take three. Take infinite damage. The next turn, take four. And he gains ten. Oh, he got, he does. Three drop. Oh, oh so it's no. not even, it's not enough either, though, right? I know, I know. <sighs> okay, pass back. Do we nix infusion just to take less damage? We still take two. That's but so. But then we can also use Way to the Underworld to kill it. After he's gained the life. The life? Man, it keeps us alive. I All guess right. you do it. It's so bad. It's the worst. It's a circle. Wow. Yeah. Circus of value for our opponent. It's just a... <laughs> he gets to two for one us and gain ten life and hit us for three f five damage in the interim. No, don't do it. What are you doing? Oh! Holy crap. <laughs> now the way to the underworld what doesn't, doesn't kill, kill it. it anymore <laughs> james we're terrible oh my god that's we're, amazing he's at 30 we're at 12 we're bad at magic and we draw a forest wait it wait it <laughs> we have to hold on it's an oath it was an o one now yeah it is ah <laughs> uh, <laughs> Please let us draw the Viper Kiss next turn. Oh, my God. Because that would be phenomenal. <laughs> sure. Fine. Whatever. Just pass the turn, you monster. I mean, we actually have stabilized. In a, in a few like, turns, we'll be able to cast Rise of Eagles. Yeah. I mean, if we draw an island next turn, we get it. So I'm, I'm playing this guy. We have to, yeah. Yeah. We can't keep taking damage. It blocks all of his dudes, so. <laughs> all two of his dudes. <laughs> Especially that, that O one with four plus one plus one counters. What what the what is this? What do, what do you know? Value black splash. Oh my god. <laughs> well, when you say value uh, Wow. This server this, this, this gentleman has filled his cravings. At the oh circus my. of value. Wow. What do we get? Asphyxiate? I don't know. 
Except it would be very good. It would be super good right now. <laughs> Biden, not so much. Uh, can we even... Because we can't even... Uh, oh, we can do... We can we can cast Rise. No, we can't. Yeah, we can. This this taps for blue. Oh, yeah, that's right. Look, it's a basic Swamp Islands Forest true. Mountain Plains. Yeah. Okay. Can't I mean, be blocked except by three or more creatures. And that's what exactly what we'll be doing. <laughs> yep. <laughs> so... And then do they come back to our hand? Oh, no. No. Yeah, oh. I know. Boo. <gasps> that Hello, friend. Is... Keeping it. Yeah? Hello, I mean, friend. Starts gaining us a couple bit, a little bit of life. <laughs> <laughs> so we lose both birds. I mean, if he has a burn spell oh, here. Oh, no, we don't. Oh, no. If he has a burn spell, we're super dead. Uh, that's not a burn spell. That's also pretty bad. That still kills it. Yeah, we still yeah, we kill can it. Still but kill he does it. kill all three of our creatures now. Yeah. Oh, go on. Attack with the sun guy. Doesn't look like we can block it. You think we're going to take seven? What kind of monster do you take us for? There you go. Attack with the O one. Do it. Send a message. I mean, you wuss. <laughs> Are you afraid? Is it worth it not to triple block? I don't think so. I don't want to take seven, eight. I want to take eight. Yeah, that's fair. He's only got one card in hand. Yeah. And he's not getting any creatures back out of this. <laughs> it's a pump spell. Uh, don't be a pump spell. Yay! Sweet. Come back to us, Emissary. Hey, look at that. So we're super dead. No, I think we're good. So now we play the Grim Guardian. Look, we're going to gain some life here. We sure are. No, we don't gain life. They lose life. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ha! Got you down to 29. In fact, uh, we should play the... No, you play the play Emissary. The emissary. Get you down to 28. We could fight back. Deal with that. I mean, yeah, he's only Guardian, got one card. Grim Guardian blocks the Eidolon really well. Yeah. I mean... <laughs> back up to back 30. Back up to 30. Back up to 30. The board is stable. Stop tapping mana. Until he does whatever this Stop is. Stop tap. Oh. Uh, I mean. All right. It means he can attack with a sun guide. Yep. <laughs> Still blocking it. Oh, yeah, absolutely. It's just. Interesting he tapped both red for that, so he can't even, like, pump the Eidolon. <sighs> All right. Something good. Ha! Huh. We can make all his creatures attack. <laughs> yeah. Well, we can make two of his creatures attack if we have our presence untapped. Oh, no, it is all of them. It's yeah. all of them. Yeah. Uh, I don't think we wanted... Well, I mean... It could actually work. We, honestly, maybe we do that. Yeah, it actually could be a good thing. Maybe we do that. Because the hoplite's not going to do anything. We can eat the sun guide or the alsaids. We can eat the Everflame Eidolon. Uh, we can't... Oh, we could eat it. If, we take unless two. he draws a... If he plays a mountain here, then we don't want to do that. Yeah. Don't play a mountain. Don't top deck a basic land. What is this? This can't be Desperate Stand again. Oh, oh God. All right, well, I, th I think we still do it. Oh, he gets two... Yeah, he gets two triggers. So we uh, don't do that anymore. I mean, he's just going to attack anyways now. Well, at least with the sun guide, he'll attack. So wait, who has the protection? Uh, it looked like he... Yeah. Everflame Eidolon and the... The sun guide. Uh, I think we still do this. Let me get to eat th these guys. Yeah. We eat one of them. He can't attack with... Does it for... You can't force the... No, we eat this guy. Yeah. yeah. All right, go for it. Right. Ha ha. I mean, we could also just get rid of that hoplite. Eh, I'm not super worried about the hoplite. Because it's something that we could actually get off the board. Because yeah, we damage. can't. 
Uh, yeah, because we don't. He could pump that, so that's fair. All right. No. <laughs> Why do you hate us? Why do you hate us, game? Why are you so hateful? Just pass back, and we force him to attack yeah, again. We're gonna, yeah, we're gonna keep doing that. As 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 long as he doesn't play an enchantment again. I mean, I, even if he does, I guess we just I keep mean, we, doing it. We still keep taking little bits of damage. Yeah. But we do slowly clear out his stuff. Please don't play a mountain. <laughs> Please don't play a mountain. Or whatever this is, because it's God, lots of mana. Jesus. Oh, huh. Okay, that's four one ones. That's bad. That's pretty bad. I'm still doing it, though. Oh, yeah, you absolutely do it. All right, I'm going to eat the Sun Guide and the Eidolon. Another Rise of Eagles would put us in a pretty better spot. I guess I should have been playing my lands. Because we have so many high drops. Oh, God. Wow. I think, are we dead? No. Nope. Mm, block this. Block, mm, take four. Four. We're pretty dead. Creature, like, ugh. We were actually, like, okay there. <laughs> we like, were, we were doing we were pretty good. for a while. And three lands in a row kills us. Evangel of super bum town. Where all the buttocks live. <laughs> what is this? No, don't be another one. Oh, that's also bad. Yeah, because now that has double strike. Why is this... What? This doesn't seem like the deck to be running an Evangel of Heliod, but what do I know? We're losing to it. Okay. So, what happens here? We have to chump. Mm -hmm. And... I guess we chump this with the emissary. Yep. Gross. And kill one of his one ones. And take four and go to two. I don't think there's anything that gets us out of this now. No, there is not. <laughs> Clearly not that. <laughs> I mean, play. <laughs> show him the kind of card, the value cards we're playing in this deck. <laughs> He's at 30. <laughs> All right. <laughs> that was bad. Uh, poop. All right. Round, Round three. three. Fingers crossed. One time, no buy. Yeah. Love playing standard on Magic Online? Check out Academy Standard Bot in the Magic Online Classifieds for standard singles. Round three, no buy. Play first, yes, and keep. Yep. Slam it. All of our colors. Oh, this is like the best opening hand we've had all day. Yeah. Keep it, keep it, keep it. So, now the question is, what deck w is going to beat us for the third time? <laughs> the question is, yeah, what, what other deck is in the O2, <laughs> yeah. the O2 bracket in this JBT Swiss? Green. Uh-oh. Mono green. We can't beat mono green. What? Yeah, we can. Well, maybe not. No. <laughs> if basically, okay, if, okay. If, if our opponent's deck follows an archetype, <laughs> we can't we win. Can't, we can't win. Yeah. Hope that he's playing five color good stuff. Uh oh. Uh oh. It is mono green. No. That's a good start. Wow. Yeah, we're in a lot of trouble actually. <laughs> I mean, it's better than Swordwise Centaur, but that's bad. As of right now, we're. I think we're okay. Yeah. We got some pretty good cards here, so. Oh, sick. Okay, here we go. That's That satyr's going to have to carry the weight of the underworld, I think. All right, take one. Yeah, tie game. Deal with it. All right, I feel good about this. Let's see his turn three. I guess he could play a four drop here. Oh, uh, he's green-blue. That's actually... That's worse. Scarier? Yeah. Yeah, way worse. <laughs> I was going to make a charging badger joke, but... Whoa, mana ramp. Okay, so... I still think we wait something next turn. We, we I think we have to. Satyrs. 
Otherwise, he plays out some disgusting thing on turn four, and that seems really bad. Yeah. Okay. I mean, I think we just block the one one and hope he doesn't have aspect of Hydra. I guess. Oh my god. Is that a thing that he's going to do? That would be so bad. <laughs> uh... what? Like does he just want to get in for one? Like he can't he I mean he's getting no value if we I feel like he probably has to have something, right? Cuz well, I, I, I'm so weirded out. I just, I can't bring myself to do it. I can't endanger the Guardian. The Guardian is kind of our whole game plan here, so. All right. Just killing this. Yep. I'm probably going to attack, too. Oh, actually, he can, sa oh, no. I was like, he could save it with Aspect, but no, because this stays around. What else is there for a single green? Like nature's panoply? Oh, yeah. But that wouldn't have... That wouldn't have killed the Guardian. No. But, like, I... I Don't know why he would have done that. Yeah. Let's just assume it was Aspect. Okay. All right. Yeah, so here comes a five. Don't be an asp. Huh. That's pretty bad. All right. And he gets to search some cards up. Oh, he gets to look at them. Yeah. And reveals... He has to look at the top two. Uh, Tromper. That's unfortunate. Okay, that's good. Yeah. I'm getting pretty scary. Yep. We're taking two more damage from that weaver than we should have. All right, so so we could we can cast and just play the naiad and then put the emissary on the naiad next turn. Yeah, could also just go all in on that grim guardian. <laughs> we could. This seems bad though, because then we're taking. Well, I guess we're uh, we're hitting for three, and then we're taking a lot. Six yeah. upwards, at least six. Well, at least four. At least five. Yeah. You might not attack with the satyr. That's true. Uh, I mean, this is... It's only giving this a minus two. It's making it a two five. Yeah, I don't think we're doing that. All right. Okay. Well, let's, let's get crazy. One time no shredding wins, I guess. We're winning. Grim Guardian is doing his job. If he doesn't have the Shredding Winds right now, Emissary will protect it from that because it'll be a 6-9. A, a yeah. I I would be pretty surprised if he's main decking Shredding Winds. I wouldn't be that you surprised. You don't see that too, too often. Hmm? Hey, That's going to be the Tromper, I would assume. So I, I assume it's the Tromper, yeah. He's got four cards in hand. We know one of them is the Tromper. We fear that another one of them is some sort of single green mana combat trick. I mean, Aspect, Aspect is going to get us pretty hard. <laughs> yeah, it's plus four right now. Wait, can we even attack next turn if we get if we put the emissary on it? We only, hit him, we only hit him for six. Then yeah. he hits us back for four, seven, nine, t ten. No, we can't do that. <laughs> yeah, at least we have a sweet blocker. We have a sweet block. Whoa. What? Yeah. Can you target it right now? Yeah. Oh, my God. That is. It was aspect. It was. We read it. Yeah, we were right. It was aspect. Why would you use it to do that? I mean, I guess you get the Nautilus. Yeah. No. I. Wow. I think that was a fine play by him. I think that was awesome. 
Holy crap. So, we, I mean, we have to... I think we still bestow here. Make a 5-5. Five five. It's at least a better blocker, yeah. I mean, we can, like, cast this and just kill it immediately. Maybe that's better. Cast and, and just play out the emissary. Play it as a 3-3? Three, three? That's bad, because it can't block this. Uh, well, I mean, we can double block. Uh, yeah. He's only killing one. I mean, we I, bestowing seems really bad, doesn't it? Because then we're... I mean, we can block one thing profitably, but still take at least six. Mm. And he has a... If he attacks with everything, and he has a... We know he has a tromper in hand, so... Yeah, I guess. Whereas if so we just, if we just emissary... Just well, if we emissary... Then we have a 2-2 two, two, and a 3-3. Three, three. We can double block his 4-5. He kills one, but we it's just a one for it's a straight up one for one. That seems okay. And then we can cast this stupid Nautilus. Yeah, right. Sure. Interestingly, uh, doing Cast into Darkness on the Crystal Nautilus would not have triggered the Grim Guardian. Nope. Uh, because it would have been sacrificed before the Cast into Darkness entered the battlefield. Okay, so he drew a he, land. So theoretically. He's, he's yeah. got a Fairy's Band Tromper and, and, an and unknown. one unknown. And that's what this is, apparently. Oh. Okay. Okay, well, now he has two unknowns. <laughs> great. That's great. I'm so glad. I will double block your game warden. Yeah, I you, think. I mean, we have to. I think so. Uh, I mean, we don't have to. Don't it depends on how else he attacks. I mean, if he attacks with everything, we probably just take down the two guys. His his one one and one two. So. Vaporkin, that's good. Hurt. Don't think I won't do it. Because started a chat. Oh, this is not our opponent. Be gone. Sorry, Maheo. Recognize your name from uh, our chat room, though. All right, I'll do it. Yeah, I'm. I'm crazy. I'm. I'm gonna do it. Chances of him having a combat trick is very slim, thankfully. <laughs> so obviously right. has it. No. Oh. Really? He's letting his keeper Nyad? Hmm. Well, he's got the Vaporkin. Yeah, but that's why I wouldn't let us keep it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, that's the problem with that card, is that when you draw it at this point, you're just like, well... Crap. <laughs> <laughs> this card's not very good. Whatever, I'm doing it. Blocks his other guys. All right, still has one unknown. This is a tromper. Well, no, this is the attacks first. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not blocking the vaporkin. Yeah, come on through. Don't think I won't drain you with this thing. I'll do it. I'm crazy. Okay, yeah, right. There's his tromper. That's right. All right. We need to draw something good here. Not land. Okay. Well, uh, that's Land is also an option. Yeah. Sure. Land is certainly a thing we could draw. Do I now need to try and trade with that Vaporkin? I think so. No. Mm -hmm. uh, all right. So bad. Value. Two for running ourselves. Wow. Jesus. You have a lot of those. Voyaging satyrs. I want a bile blight. Oh, man. 
That would have been dope. Four. Put, put that on the naiad. naiad. Yeah. I get a four four. All right, so we can like kill a satyr or make his fairies band tromper small. But killing a satyr seems not. Oh, actually, we have to make the tromper small because otherwise yeah. we're just dying. We're dying. Yeah. So that's gross. Two, three, four, five. All right. So this Wait, way, what happens when it gets inspired? He gets a plus one, plus one counter. So this way we take five. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but if we did the other thing, uh, um, if we kill the satyr, we're taking exactly six. Yeah. Come on, everybody. Everybody into the red zone. Yay. Oh, the water's fine in the red zone. We're at one. Pass the turn. <laughs> Pass the turn. Do we have anything that makes four creatures? No. I don't know. Let's find out. <laughs> yeah. Like, probably not, but... Maybe I misread a card. Do we have anything for four mana? No. All right. Uh, game two. You know, I don't want to... I don't want to... I don't want to come down badly on our deck here, but... Uh, our deck is awesome. This might be one of the worst decks we've ever made. Cut the cast of Into Darkness. Or, not the cast, sorry, the claims, yeah. Bring in the Asphyxiate. Is, do we see a good target for Viper's Kiss? Uh, I mean... All of his... His Voyaging Satyrs, yeah. actually. Yeah. Turns them into O1s that can't do squat. Yep. All right. Yeah, I mean, this isn't, like, it's not our worst deck. It's not our best deck. It's definitely not our best. I don't it's, know what our worst is. Yeah, I don't know. Do you, I mean, what do you, what what do you, the viewers at home, think uh, is the worst deck we've ever made? Yeah. We, we've had some real stinkers. Yeah. I mean, this one's pretty bad. It's pretty bad. <laughs> let's, let's not kid ourselves. Which is unfortunate, because I think, like, there are absolutely good, like, enchantment, maybe not enchantment-only decks, obviously. Like, clearly, if we had gone... I think we probably could have put together a pretty good black green enchantment theme deck, mm. not enchantment maybe only been, deck. <laughs> maybe it would have been better to try and go like take just all the constellation stuff. Like yeah, I mean that the, the Grim Guardian, the Harvest Guard, Elsaids, the the Dreadbringer Lamp Pads, just anything with constellation. Maybe yeah, and then other enchantments. I don't know. Mm. All right, let's have a good game two here. I felt let's win this and go to a crazy game three where we lose immediately. That's a mulligan. Good one. That's so bad, but we have all of our. No, we don't have green. Oh my god. Uh, I mean, that font's a, a, a essentially a dead card. Yep. This is like a mold of five. Can't cast the emissary. And we're three, two mana off the Flood Type Serpent to just have a 4-4 four, four blocker. 4-4 four, four blocker ain't bad. It's true, but we're that's turn five <laughs> at the earliest. <laughs> I don't know. I mean, you mulligan because... I mean, let's see how this deck mulligans to five. Hmm. That's okay. If we can draw a black, yep. I'm okay with this. I mean... Stupid claim of Erebos. Those are the worst cards in our deck. Check out the worst, the worst turn one in Theros Block Limited. Yep. I know. Right there. That was it. That's the worst turn one. That's pretty bad. I think that's actually worse than accidentally F6ing through your, fir <laughs> your first turn if you have a good deck. All right. So draw a Black Source, and then I'm, un I'm, I'm happy. Swamp. Yes, oh. yes, we can do it. We can do the Nix infusion plan again. Please, the the could happen. Please. None of his two drops that he showed us last game can can effectively block a spiteful return with a Nix infusion on it. Nope. <laughs> I was gonna say, and by saying that. Uh, the three, still can't three. block successfully. I will take it. Chump if you want to, but you probably don't. Oh, Ooh, that's filthy. 
get in. Take five. Get in. Concede. <laughs> Just scoop it up right now. <laughs> Just concede. So he doesn't block now, but I feel no. like if he doesn't have anything next turn, he blocks, so that's fun. Gets rid of a stupid starfish. Let's go land, land. Yeah, I mean, that's... Come on, runner, runner, land. Clearly Just the dream. Bestow the naiad. Nothing? Ooh. That'll that'll work. Yeah, I'll take that. And then put the claim on the gar Grim Guardian. Yeah. Oh my God. Yes. Oh, this is perfect. We can't lose. <laughs> okay. Oh he's, yeah, he's, he's jumping there. So he'll scry. Good. We got the got the starfish out of the way. Hopefully, unless he's got. Three points of pump on a trick? I don't think so. Uh, eh. uh, no. That being said, he could save the starfish, right? So he tops it. And does it die? Ooh, no, he's saving it. Savage. Yeah. Savage. Okay. Which actually gives him uh, another scry, which is really good. Oh, yeah, it does. Wow. But he topped it anyway, so it doesn't matter. Oh, okay. He's yeah. not getting any additional value off that scry. Yeah, that's fair. Uh, it means he gets to leave it back as a blocker again, though. So True. Another swamp next turn to be fun. Claim, drain. Ooh. No! Desecration plague! Oh! Wow! All right. We got him on six turns with this claim. Sweet! That's exactly what I wanted. Get drained. Yep, go to 11. And next turn you're going to 9. Go to nine or, or at the end of the, your turn, go you're going to 9. To nine. Your end step. Can, I, can I yield to that or have I already done it? No, he's doing it now. Okay. Scried top again. Desecration plague. I hope that was a sideboard. It's a good sideboard, Yo, to, be, yeah. to be fair. Ooh. Ooh that doesn't matter. Asp. Doesn't matter. That's not our game plan. Not anymore. <laughs> uh, I think I just put that on the asp. Yep. Just make it smaller. Yep. Uh, then we don't get to drain. That's well, we drain him for one here, so that's true. Uh, and this is, I think that's this saves us more life, right? Oh yeah, yeah I think so. Like, yeah, we, I think it, this is, but we want to end it quickly because he's got the starfish. Mm -hmm. I think this is still the better play. In a world of not great plays, <laughs> honestly, if we get a fifth land, we probably just play the naiad. <laughs> Yeah. Doesn't bestow it, and uh, keep keep draining. Bottomed it. More land. Wow, he's got a lot of land. This is when Starfish gets really good because you can just be like, don't want land. Interesting. Oof. Terrifying. Swarmborn. Wow. He needs more mana to monster set, which is good. So... If we bestow, he has to chump with the asp, or else he loses. He the loses giant. The giant. So we probably do that. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that gets the asp out of the we way. We drain him in four turns, though. We don't survive that long. <laughs> do, we, do we not? We can chump for a bit. Uh, You're probably right. Well, okay, hold on. I mean, we play out the. I mean, we can chump once, right? Yeah. I mean, if we draw, if we go. 
creature, 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 then yeah, we're probably in good shape. But that's true. We have to go creature, creature, creature. So all right, well we'll do this. I was afraid it was gonna be like a stymied hopes or something. Stymied hopes, even like voyages in would be pretty bad there. All right, don't see it. Don't see the trick. Not the trick. Don't see the... the <laughs> yeah. The what will clearly happen if you let damage through. Yeah. Okay. See also no tricks. Okay. Okay. So we take a hit from the Swarmborn here, but But then, that's fine. We're at 20. Like, we can take yeah. a hit or two from this thing. Then he's gone if... Um. Whoa, 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 whoa. What? Oh, crap. <laughs> now he has a flying giant. <laughs> All right, so we're back on the uh, drain. He didn't attack. He didn't attack. I like that. That seems really better for us. Okay. I'm going to pass the turn. Yeah? Because then we can block the archetype. And we can let this through, and then we get on back on the draining plan. Yep. Wowzers. Uh, I would play the land. Probably. Uh, just because if we draw... Uh, I, uh, yeah, whatever. I guess it doesn't really matter. Got Rise of Eagles here would be great. <laughs> More land. I mean, I assume he just attacks with a giant here. Yeah. Really? Oh, okay. Really? That's kind of worrying, worrying then. I think we have to take that block, though. Otherwise, we take 11 because he can monster us here. Okay. Aspect of Hydra doesn't kill it. No. Savage Surge doesn't kill it. He needs to give it plus three, three power plus, to yeah. actually kill it. And he's only got two cards in hand. Uh I don't really know why. Wait, we can't. Wait, 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 wait. Everyone watching at home, please calm down. I have now realized the error of our ways. Oh, yeah, it doesn't have flying. Right, of yes. course. So we can't actually block. Yeah, that's right. Yes. It's okay. We're fine. We figured it out. I very rarely play against those archetypes. I always forget about that. Yeah. Someone got really salty at me once because he tried to give a creature of his first strike. He, he used like, oh, and you he had used the, twice the challenge, and I had yeah, the other yeah. one. And he's like, "What the hell?" And I'm like, "Your you can't. guy can't gain first strike." Okay, we're dead. <laughs> we're actually just dead now. <laughs> Damn it! Uh, not not if we get Rise of Eagles. They can't block. Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Damn it! What did we need there? We we could have drained them for two. An enchantment would have taken him to one more. Ugh, damn it. <laughs> oh, well. I think this deck performed as well as it could. And let us all just remember that one game where we beat that dude really quickly with the spiteful return and the next infusion. That was a fun game. I remember it dearly. It will be in my thoughts forever. He bought him to card there. Just for... Oh, because I mean 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 if he wants to monster us. Seems Oh, yeah, he can pay for monsters good. too. Yeah, he could pay for it last turn. Just attack with the starfish, dude. Yeah, send a message. Swing. Do it. You See, jerk. I'm not afraid of you anymore. You jerk. Because you weren't willing to send a message. <sighs> well, I'll drain him for two. I'm gonna. Don't think I won't. I fight you. Fight you. Fight you. Fight. Yeah, there we go. And then we untap it somehow, and then also. I guess if we had, man, yeah, if we, if we, if there was an enchantment card that untapped, that would have been sick. I don't think there is. Uh, yeah, the um, doesn't the does the ire untap? Doesn't it tap and untap? Oh, Thassa's ire. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So if, if I mean, we, we don't have it. We would have. We'd have to play it last turn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. 
but then it, and had like a billion mana. Yeah, but that would have been sweet. Like, uh, that would have been nope. Nope. Mm, nope. Uh, I no, because we need we we couldn't attack too, right. right? So no, no, there was nothing in our deck that was going to win us that game. Well, that was our farewell <laughs> to JBT. Ugh. You're you're welcome, JBT. That was a disappointing you guys, farewell. Yeah, it JBT, really kind of was. Well, you deserve better. We, we apologize. Yeah, we I'm, have we have wronged you this day. I'm, I will write you a nice letter. Yeah. All right. Hopefully that was entertaining for you guys at least. Um, once, as always, check us out at loadingreadyrun.com. You follow our magic goings on on Twitter at LRRMTG. We stream every Thursday. Stream uh, magic goofiness at uh, twitch.tv slash loadingreadyrun, which you can again find linked from loadingreadyrun.com. Uh, so until next time, I'm Graham. I'm James. And thank you for watching. Bye, guys.